or watching Balls, the world's number one golf tutorial show, hosted by a pair of flaming homosexuals. So I'm, I'm, I'm what you would call a professional at this sport because I did a I did a stint for the PGA, which is the Professional Golfers of America, and then I started my own league, the GGA, which is the Gay Golfers of America. But once I was finished with that, I decided to become a golf instructor. So uh, I went golfing with my buddies and I, I sucked and uh, I seen this ad uh, where you can learn how to play golf and I decided I'd go ahead and Give it a shot. I was born in Minsk. Came out of my mother's vagina. Was little boy until age eight. Well, now I am gay man. I do not like females at all. I play golf, which is which is why I'm on this show. Okay, hold it out. Okay, now pull it into your hip. So you need to reach out and just make sure your tip is clean to your stick. Just rub it, just give it a little love, very little love, just very gentle. Just let them know you're a friend. Let them know you're never going to leave them. And okay, and after you do that, you need to get close and personal with your stick. You need to talk to it. Hello, baby, how are you? So we're out on my own personal driving range, which we cut into the middle of this forest because I like to be surrounded by a lot of wood. I mean, wood as far as the eye can see. Okay. Now I want you to whack it right off of that tee. Come on, whack it off. Whack it off. Whack it off. Whack it off. Stroke. 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 No, no, no. This is not how you hold this. This is not how you hold this. This was a particularly bad case. I mean, trying to teach this boy golf is, it was kind of like having a gay pride rally in Dallas, Texas. I mean, you can do it. You just gotta loosen everyone up first. It was really quite cute, actually. Uh, he, he just gave it every little, you know, the little swing that he could, you know, just a little. Honestly, he could not hit a bullet with the side of the barn. Man, these guys' methods are a little out there. After every hit of the ball, you have to do this. And you have to rub them together. You have to rub them together. Get over here, come, come. I first fell in love with the sport back when I was a caddy for Tiger Woods. And every single time he hit that ball, I got so hard pressed to become more like him, become a pro. So one night I stole the key to his hotel room and I came to him on my hands and knees and I said, Tiger, teach me to love. Teach me to love. So he taught me. Then he quizzed me. A plus. Tiger Woods can suck a mean cock. You know they say that once you go black, you never go back? It's not true. I went back twice a week. We did things that would make Richard Simmons go back to the closet. He pounded my butthole. I don't want to get too explicit, but at one point, we were worried that I was pregnant. Right, it turned out it was just some sort of stomach parasite that felt like babies kicking but but we were we were very fearful at the time he was married can you imagine what a sex scandal would have done to his career yes i like to swing at the balls oh golf oh we're talking about golf oh i have small vibe that i frighten him in many ways I... he threatened him with a golf club i told you do it no way you'll get <laughs> That Russian dude, guy, I don't even think he knows how to play golf. I think he just likes hitting people. Okay. Ready? Do you have any idea how tight that hole is? I mean, if you're not going to get it in there, then nobody's going to be satisfied. But in the end, he is better golfer and also better boy. See what you got. Impressive. Wow. Got me a little excited. I guess I'm a little better at golf. 
He's got a lot to offer as a male, and I'm going to get me some before this interview is over, if you know what I mean. So, it was a success. You know, we, we taught him to play golf, we improved his skill, and we made some money doing it. You know, he paid us $1,000 each. So, I'm going to spend the rest of my time enjoying a nice big bag of balls. See you later. Since you're going to be outstretched like this, you need to kind of bend. Just bend a little bit. Bend a little, little, little wider. A little wider. I'm going to fucking hit you if you do not bend wider. Show me it! Show me 